gonna hunt some specs today. Hunting with a good friend of ours, man. Up and coming country music singer, Cam Shelton. He is really good at the spec hunting and uh, speckle bellies and snows. We're gonna throw out a spread here. That's what these guys are doing now. They're throwing out a spread and Cam's kind of directed us how to set up these decoys. Prop up in the grass back in here and uh, kind of get situated. Got the moon, a little partly cloudy here. We've got enough wind going to keep them coming and moving in here. So um, it's going to be a good day. And you never know, Cam might sing a song at the end of this thing. So we'll see what happens. So you guys stay tuned. <laughs> That group there did it freaking dirty. Yeah, that was awesome, dude, Dad. Yo, that's cold. God, I tell you what, I saw the feathers come off that one. Oh, who got that feather? Oh, we got the ball. Kill that single. Kill him. How about that? Look at the sky. Well, we've had quite a few birds coming in, um, but they worked good at first, and now the sun came up a little bit, and so we're just gonna switch it up a little bit, take the take the snows out of here, and um, and just leave the specks and see if we can get all the speckles coming in light. So we'll see what happens. You guys stay tuned. I mean, I literally had it right on him. I'm just saying, what the world? Look at all this diesel in there. Holy cow. That is incredible. We got them right where we want them. We're right where we want them, boys. You can't beat this, man. We got eight specks and a snow goose. Eight specks and a snow goose. Eight specks and a snow goose. I think it's eight specks and a snow goose. Eight specks and a snow goose. Yeah. Did what he said. What he said. All right, everybody. Buck and I just made it back to the house. We are getting set up for the podcast. If you can see it, well, it's a little blurry. Right. I'm not very good at this. Right there. <laughs> Anyways, we're getting set up for the podcast, and we're going to get also the birds cleaned out, so y'all stay tuned. Yeah, they say it's, that's supposed to be the real deal right there, so. Listen, that's the one thing we do on all of our episodes, and no matter what we do, if we're going to kill it or shoot it, we're going to eat it. That's our, that's what we stand for, and that's what we're going to do. There's people in the world who love to have this. Starving, man, so. We are definitely going to take advantage of it. All right, we are back at the house today. We're going to make some speckle belly goose barbecue sliders. You're going to need some ingredients to start out. You're going to need some barbecue sauce. This is Baby Ray's. We're also going to need some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I always say that weird. Onion powder. Brown sugar. A little bit of water. Of course, your speckle belly goose breast. We're gonna start off putting those into the crock pot today. We're just gonna add all those ingredients in. And we're gonna mix it all up. All right, now that we've got it all mixed up, we're gonna turn it on low and let it sit for about eight to 10 hours. Coming back periodically to check up on it. All right, we'll come back. All right, folks, it's been about four and a half hours inside the crock pot on low. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, we are looking good here. Let's see if it's gonna fall apart on us. Let's see if it starts to do it. Oh yeah, it's getting there. All right, that is looking good. We're gonna let it keep on going for about another three hours. Coming back a little bit more often to stir it up. And we'll check it out here soon. All right, we're back. It's been five and a half hours on low inside the crock pot. Let's check it out. 
it is starting to fall apart. Let me show you. All right, check this out. Oh yeah. That is what you want right there. Oh yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and shred all this. Now that we've got all this shredded up, we're gonna put it back in the crock pot. Mix it back in. We're gonna put it on warm. Also gotta give it a little taste test. Mmm. That tastes great. All right. We're gonna wait a little bit closer to dinner time. Put those on some sliders. Put them in the oven with some bread. It's gonna be really good dinner. So, all right. Let's fast forward. All right. It's now dinner time. First thing we're gonna do, we've got our rolls. I usually like Hawaiian rolls, but we recently had a snowstorm and everyone bought the Hawaiian rolls. So these are just Petri Pepperidge Farms um, little mini sliders. So anyways, first thing we're gonna do, throw these in the oven at about 400 degrees, toast one side, and we'll come back here. All right, now that we got the inside of the buns toasted, we're gonna take some of the meat and we're gonna put it on the buns, put some cheese on there. We've got pepper jack and some white American. We're gonna throw it inside the oven, let it cook a little bit, let the cheese melt, and we're gonna pull it back out, put some butter on top, and then throw it back inside the oven. So let's do that now. All right, let's throw it back in the oven. All right, now that the cheese is melted a little bit, we're gonna butter the buns, put them back in there. All right, we're gonna put that in there for five minutes and come back and check it. Oh yeah, they're ready, let's get them out. Those look good. All right, let's have a bite. Mmm. Man, those are really good. I'll be sure to leave ingredients and directions down in the description. If y'all really like this episode, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Well, I cut my teeth on the passenger side so truck that'll let you drive the windows down and the radio it's like we're doing